Good evening and welcome to the 51st annual commencement of Crestley Carmine High School. Like every event here at Crestley, like every event here at Crestley, we'll begin with a prayer. So please remain standing. I ask Father Tom Baptist, the president of Crestley, begins the ceremony. Let us pray. Creator God, we gather in joy, expectation, and hope as we celebrate the achievements of our first 51st graduation class. You have gifted these men with many talents. They have risen to meet the challenges set before them. They have many others that are yet to be realized. We beg your blessings upon their parents, grandparents, families, and friends who gather with them to celebrate. May they truly appreciate how much they have participated in the achievements of our graduates. As our graduates move into the bright futures that await them, may your Holy Spirit, we pray, continue to animate their lives. May these young men see not only the challenges set before them, but also be filled with the knowledge that they can achieve anything that falls within your holy will. Continue to bless our Presby family, most especially our faculty and staff who labor each day to bring the light of knowledge and understanding to a sometimes dark and ignorant world. May all that we do be done in your name and to help bring to fulfillment your kingdom here on earth, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now I'd like to advise our salutatorian, Mr. Max Bowser, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Seeing Tyler Foreman and thinking, 
while wow, I just went giant senior. <laughs> Seeing Ricky Wolf, thinking, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Walking through the hallways with the seniors yelling and screaming, and thinking, I knew I should have brought that extra pair of shorts. <laughs> we were so young and so innocent. We had no idea what our experience here would be like. Little did we know that Cressy would be blessed with such an intelligent, athletic, funny, good-looking, and multifaceted class like us. <laughs> we entered as lost boys, and we are leaving as men with purpose. However, we should never forget the pinch hitters and the punters of our experience here that made it so special. It seemed like only yesterday that our freshman football team had one of the most exciting wins of the year when JB jumped nine feet in the air to snag a winning touchdown. Or when we stood in the gym at the state of championship game, cheering on our fellow freshman Lennon Perantes. The countless experience we spent at Rouse. I have no idea why a grocery store seems so appealing, <laughs> but that is where our bond is freshman grew. Crotch box, where we learned the definition of awkward, and Mike Milligan waltzed in with a box dripping with grease and kookaroo. Mr. Swain's freestyles, and the weather reports we watched on the morning announcements every day. Crusty was our new home, and it seemed as if it was permanent. And Blink, sophomore year, the reign of Nevis. At this point, we began to disperse in a little groups of friends, but we never lost the brotherhood that was shared with each other. We stood on the sidelines and watched what's now known as a miracle, a miracle in the valley. We were exposed to the legend of Mr. Lewis. However, we lost a different kind of legend that year. Roman Palumbo. <laughs> we sat in Mr. Medea's for the first time, trying to decipher the words with his thick Costa Rican accent. It was this year we were also graced with the presence of Brock Livingston, a man among men, and Blink, junior year, the struggle. It was the rise of SAT classes and college searches, and the fall of many social lives. <coughs> Parents and teachers filled our heads with, no 2400 on the SAT? That's fine, no college for you. <laughs> and 89%? Don't worry, McDonald's employee is a known profession. <laughs> Junior year was the year we actually started watching the football games, rather than mingling in the quad and talking to girls whom we had not seen for five long days. Saturday detentions inspired us to volunteer our time and clean up the community. We watched as the seniors slowly departed from us, and I watched my brother, my biggest role model, move across the country. But it seemed like it would be an eternity before we left the Crusty bubble. Little did we know, and blink. Senior year, our year. We were finally the kings of the school when we made it known. Thanks to Mr. King, we have several verbose and magnanimous words to use at our disposal. We have Mr. Gillis to thank for the early onset arthritis in our hands from all the note taking. We took advantage of campus ministry as another place to work and stay focused by playing several of the board games and watching the Maury show. We were always going down to visit Miss Long in her office, which is probably even a little bit smaller than Harry Potter's room under the stairs. We created the most epic student section Crespi has ever seen in the Crespi Cabana. I would not be surprised if we put two or three basketball players in therapy for the psychological trauma which we caused them. We made wearing Hawaiian shirts fashionable, and the park across the street from Shaman became our new barbecuing spot. Several of us got into very prestigious schools like Columbia, Michigan, Georgetown, USC, Virginia, and Cal. All we kept hearing this past semester was, don't screw it up. Unfortunately, several of us seniors were diagnosed with senioritis. Senioritis is a crippling disease in which a senior in high school realizes he has accomplished his goal of getting into high school, which causes him to forget what homework and studying is. Many of us showed early signs of it, with an increase in write-ups and zeros. When we were told our class had the biggest D in athletes in Crespi history, we knew we had an epidemic on our hands. Thankfully, due to scientific research, the administration found a cure. Ms. Barkins. <laughs> Through several sessions with Ms. Barkins, her techniques of scolding and passive aggression helped us to finally make it to the stand. <laughs> Probably the most devastating event of our senior year was the death of our beloved Ms. O'Connor. We did what she would have wanted in coming together and becoming closer as brothers to comfort each other. The senior year has been so much fun, 
and I would not have wanted to spend it with anybody other than the graduates you see in my slides. What an experience this has been. The memories I've just shared with you all does not even begin to capture how amazing my experience has been here at Crespi. Barack Obama said, hope is that stubborn thing inside us that exists, despite all the evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us, so long as we have the courage to keep reaching, to keep working, to keep fighting. My hope for us, my fellow graduates, is that what we learn in the classroom is only half of the learning we did. I hope that the friendships and bonds we made have turned into brotherhoods. I hope that these brotherhoods carry on for the rest of our lives. I hope we have realized that no matter what happens or how far, or how far apart we go for college, we continue to uphold the morals and ideals of being a Crespi man. My hope is that we always remember our roots and where we came from. Never forget who molded us as men and shaped us into the people we are today. I hope one day I will be listening to Hayden's music on my iPod, Matt's acceptance speech at the Oscars, lying on Javi's operating table, buying one of Josh's paintings, working for Ricky's Fortune 500 company, seeing Troy on the PGA Tour, or simply just grabbing a drink with one of you 30 years from now. By no means could any of us have been where we are without the dedication and support of the Crespi teachers, administration, and community. Teachers, thank you for not only filling our minds with knowledge, but also for imparting your wisdom upon us. Thanks for putting up with us. I know it was not an easy task. It took every ounce of your strength. Administration, thank you for taking care of everything outside of the classroom. I know if I leave a name out, I will find myself suddenly not being allowed to graduate. So I will stick to the impersonal thank yous. One exception to the rule. Ms. Long, thank you for being a mother in a school of men. You have bailed us out on several occasions and have shown us the love and compassion of mothership. I've said it before and I will say it again. She is like a single mother raising 600 boys. Parents, we thank you for the opportunity to attend Crestby. We realize it is not easy to pay for a private school education, but you will be thanking us when we buy you that beach house in Newport. <laughs> we know that without your love and support, we will be nowhere. Finally, to my fellow graduates, my Crestby brothers, thank you for the best four years of my life. You guys are what really carried me through the rough times and have taught me so much about myself. I only hope I return the favor to some of you. Class of 2013, let it soak in that we will never attend a Crespi class ever again. We will never sit at the lunch table together. We will never play out on the field again. We will never be written up by Coach Brock ever again. <laughs> there are no more bleachers for us to break, no more exams for us to bring for. Facial hair restrictions are obsolete, and college lecture privileges are a thing of the past. Whether this makes you jump for joy or cry of sorrow, remember that this is not a goodbye. It is merely an I will see you later. The clock has struck midnight, and the fat lady is sung. Congratulations, boys. We did it. We have a few final special awards and acknowledgments to make. The following awards were voted on by the faculty and staff of Crespi. The first is the Most Outstanding Student Award. This award is given to the student who has distinguished himself in all aspects of life at Crespi, for service to his fellow classmates in the Crespi community at large, as well as his dedication to the values we believe in. This award goes to Vincent Leone. Father Tierney Cahill Award. This award is given to the senior whose service and dedication to others has set him apart over the past four years. This goes to Nicholas Martinez.
Next is the Crestview Carmelite Spirit Award. This award is given to the senior who has shown spirit and dedication to Crestview Carmelite High School. This award goes to Drake Irvine. Next is the Paul Muff Commitment Award. This is an award given to a senior who represents Paul Muff's overall commitment to Crestview Athletics, social life, religious activities, and academics. This award goes to Raymond Davison. Next is a new award that was established this year. It is the Peg O'Connor Commitment Award. This is an award given to a senior who represents Peg O'Connor's dedication, hard work, overall care for others, and ability to inspire those around him. This award goes to Alec Zoida. And lastly is the Crescent Man Award. This award is given to a senior who best exemplifies the Crespi Man statement of being productive and mature, spiritual and moral, and is a lifelong learner. This award goes to Hayden Day. We will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the class of 2013. Assisting Father Paul and Father Tom with the distribution of diplomas is Mr. Jeff Gordon, the Vice Principal of Student and Campus Development, and Mrs. Sharon Barkins Wasson, the Director of Counseling. With row one, please stand. Nathaniel Marius Abene. Zachary Jacob Abel. Jonathan Frankler Frazier Eichler. <laughs> Carlo Sebastian Alcala. <laughs> Brandon Christopher Arnold. <laughs> Brandon Joseph Hartner. Maximilian Babayan. George Maxwell Balzer. Nicholas David Bennett. Jabrian Ashton Blackwell. <laughs> Oliver Scott Bloom. <laughs> Blaine Wyatt Briseño. <laughs> A senior Donald Brown. Robert Keone Brown. <laughs> Nicholas John Burke. <laughs> Row one, please be seated. Row two, please stand. <laughs> Donald James Kapitney. Gabriel Marcelino Colobi. Christopher Thomas Calvi. Jackson Andre Carter. Patrick George Cassidy. Joshua Evan Sissel. Yeah. 
Tyler Lance Clemenson. Cody Nathan Cordell. Christopher Joseph Cortez Adams. Joshua Chase Forte. Tyler Wilson Cushman. Devon James Dave. David Glenn Dannon. Raymond Carver Davison III. Hayden R. Day. Nicholas Calvin Dinsmore. Row two, please be seated. Row three, please stand. James Thomas Donnelly. Sean Michael Doyle. David Vincent Eaton Trout. Darcel James Edwards. Nicholas Austin Eichberg. Corey Patrick Flynn. Gerald Tyler Foreman II. Andrew Alexander Grace. Bradley Stewart Franian. Wyatt Lynn Fulkerson. Devin Latrell Fusilier. Carter James Gallo. Javi Nagami. Maxwell R. K. Owen. Demetrius John Atkinson. Row three, please be seated. Row four, please stand. Justin Gerard Greenstein. Taylor Lee Hammermesh. Harrison Wyatt Haley. Michael Kylie Harrigan. Cole William and Gigi Hassan-Pratz. <laughs> Anthony Corleone Hayes.
Stephen Clayton Hutchinson. Andrew Patrick Yacobino. Anthony James Pickney. Drake S. Swimming. Tyler Gregory Jones. Roll four, please be seated. Roll five, please stand. Richard Jeffrey Kessler. Ashton Mills King. Patrick King Templeton. Harrison Christopher Kulo. Troy Kuramorohead. Vincent James Haley. Henry Alexander Levinson. Corey Michael Lutz. William Morgan Lynch. Alexander Scott McMiller.
Row six, please be seated. Row seven, please stand. James Harris Ramblocha the second. Nicholas Norman Rain. Keenan Benjamin Rossman. Andrus Colvis Replenis. John Michael Ryan. Joseph Johan Jensen Santi. Mark Anthony Sasaki. Theodore A. Siegel. Jason Zohair Shama. Aaron Simon Bacone. Austin Corey Smith. Matthew Laszlo Samoji. Skyler J. Stone. Anthony Ever Tedeschi. <laughs> Row seven, please be seated. Row eight, please stand. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady Mount Carmel, pray for us. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Crespi's graduating class of 2013. <laughs>
YouTube and I'm gonna give it creative contribution so anybody can download it. I did that last year and it worked.